opening my Christmas present. Oh, there's packing peanuts. Need some pink giant plate of steel. <laughs> Dude, sick. Oh, 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 you just watched me unwrap my new steel made cookware flat top. Let's check it out. I'll show you guys how to set it up and we'll do a little cooking on it and show you how to season to get it ready to be non stick. Came with this scraper, a regular spatula, slotted spatula, two bottles. I put water in one for cleaning and steaming and oil in the other. Some flat top oil that maintains the surface, keeps it non-stick and prevents rust. And some flat stop scrub for those crazy stuck on bits of food that you can't get off. All right, let's get ready for some cooking. Okay, we are washing the flat top for the first time using hot water, nylon scratcher, and a little bit of uh, just a little bit of dish soap, you know, sprinkled on there a little bit. All right. Do our first cleaning. After we scrub it down, we're gonna heat it up. All right, we have washed and rinsed the flat top. We're gonna pat her dry and then throw her on top of the stove. Never wanna leave uh, this in the sink soaking or anything because uh, it's going to rust if you do that so nice cleaning and then we're going to heat her up okay this is your drip tray which is supposed to go underneath these holes <clears throat> on my stove there's a little lip right there you can see so uh, at first it wouldn't sit there but I did find a solution so I'll show you that here real quick Okay, so this lip, if I just barely lift up my grates, I can slide this back underneath, and it does stay pretty well. Alright, so I think that'll work. Alright, so flat top's on. The drip tray is perfect. It's right underneath there. It's kind of hard to see, but it is right in line there. Let's see if I can... Yeah, so <clears throat> it'll actually work out perfect. Um, one thing that I did find out, I went ahead and put a level on this. The flat top's cool right now, but uh, I'm just a little off level there, but my back to front is pretty off level. So I actually need to maybe level out my stove, which can be done right down here. Uh, let me see if I can get, there we go. So right here, you can level out your left and right, and then if you remove this drawer completely, way back in there, um, there'll be a couple other pegs where you can bring up the rear. Alright, so that might be something that you want to do if your stove isn't off level, so you don't have things rolling around. Alright, now that everything's nice and level, we're going to heat up the flat top. We're going to turn all the burners on to low and try to get an even heat across the whole surface. When you use your flat top, even if you're not going to cook on both sides, you still want to have heat on each side to prevent the steel from warping. There we go, looks like we got a nice even heat and we'll let that start warming up and then we'll apply some oil. I decided to use Crisco for my seasoning process because of its high smoking point. 
Avocado oil or peanut oil would also do as a good second because of their height and smoking point. When the flat top was warm and the Crisco began to melt, I went ahead and scraped it in with the scraper, getting it all over com the complete surface. I left the oil on low until I began to notice the first smoking point. Then I turned the burners off and let it cool down. Then I wiped it down with a paper towel. After it cooled, watch your hands, that's going to be hot. After everything was on nice and even and smooth, we repeated this process three times. The more times you do this, the more non-stick the surface will become, just like a cast iron pan. As you can see here on the second pass, the surfaces under the burners are beginning to darken. That's a good thing. We did this process a third time and then it was time for some grilled cheese. <laughs> and what's a flat top without a fried egg? The more we cooked on the flat top, the better the food became. You want an egg? Boom. When we couldn't eat anymore, it was time to clean the flat top. Just a little bit of water and a good scraping and then a light coating of oil to prevent rust and keep it non-stick. Pretty easy cleanup. This is my daughter's gift. <laughs> Thanks, Fine. dude. I appreciate it. It's fucking awesome. One of the nicest gifts I've ever gotten, to be honest. Not even just saying that, I'm just okay, I'm saying the truth. Thanks, thanks, dude. I do love the cookies. Christmas Day breakfast was awesome. We give the Steel Made Cookware Flat Top two thumbs up. If you have ideas or suggestions of food you'd like to see us cook on the Flat Top in a future episode, please leave it in the comments below. We appreciate our viewer support, so keep smashing that like button. And until next time, Merry Christmas, you filthy animals, and a Happy New Year.